Greetings. In this video, I'll be explaining the hindbrain, its structures, and its functions. Let's get started. The hindbrain. The hindbrain is located at the base of the brain around the brainstem, as demonstrated in this diagram here. The hindbrain is a collection of the lower level brain structures that include the cerebellum, here, the medulla, which is here, and the pons, which is here. Basic functions. The pons, medulla, and cerebellum control or influence various motor functions, as well as vital automatic responses such as breathing, heart rate, and sleep. This is further explored more in this video. Now we'll move on to the first part of the hindbrain, the cerebellum. The cerebellum is about the size of a tennis ball in adult human brains. It contains about 80% of the brain's neurons, despite only making 10% of the brain's mass. And here in this diagram, we can see exactly where the cerebellum is in the pink. The functions of the cerebellum. The cerebellum coordinates fine muscle movements and regulates posture and balance. Although commands for movements occur higher in different areas of the brain, the cerebellum organizes and adjusts muscle activity to help with smooth and precise movement. The cerebellum makes calculations about which muscles must be activated and by exactly how much. Cerebellum involvement. The cerebellum is involved in activities requiring a rapid and skilled sequence of movements, like typing and speaking, as well as normal everyday physical activities, like picking up a cup and bringing it to your mouth. The cerebellum is also involved in learning and memory and associated with movement. For example, when we learn to walk, detailed control information is stored within the cerebellum where it can be commanded by the cerebral cortex. Moving on to the next part of the hindbrain, the medulla. The medulla is a continuation of the spinal cord so that the brain and the spinal cord can connect. The medulla controls vital involuntary bodily functions like swallowing, coughing, heart rate, and much more. Some parts of the medulla are also involved in sensations such as touch and pressure. And demonstrated in this diagram, you can see where it is in the pink and how it's connected to the spinal cord. That's it for the medulla. Now the last part of the hindbrain, the pons. The pons is a small bundle of neural tissue about 2.5 centimeters long. So here would be 2.5 centimeters long. The pons is involved for sleeping and dreaming, as well as helping control breathing and other muscle movements. You can see where it is in the pink. The pons also connects parts of the brain with one another by relaying messages between the cerebral cortex and the cerebellum and between the medulla and the midbrain so that they can communicate with each other. So in this diagram demonstrated here, the cerebral cortex and the cerebellum can communicate and the medulla and midbrain can also communicate because right here, the pons allows them to and can convey the messages. Well, this marks the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so we can become monetized. This video is created by Simply Explained.